for one thing, the, the, the narr- it has a kind of narrative energy, um, and it tells a story. It's about the evolution of the con- of consciousness, the evolution of mind from brain, basically. And it goes from the idea of uh, a brain in a, in a creature that doesn't uh, know to to consciousness, and then to the anxiety and and dilemmas of consciousness. So, in one very basic arc, it's about um, simplicity to complexity, and it also has to do with fragmentation and and lack of cohesion to more and more cohesion and greater uh, interaction and and uh, intricacy. So, the three the, the three movements have a structure that relates to that. The first movement, which is called um, when mind first in the body bloomed, that phrase is uh, based on uh, Walt Whitman, when lilacs last in the dooryard bloomed. And for Antonio to send me this thing, when mind first in the body bloomed, I was just amazed because I, it, I don't know if it's calling improvement, but it's kind of an updating and a more resonating way of using that line than, than the Whitman. I mean, it really it's sort of a new thought in the same idea of blooming. It's the only line in the poem that is based on any other poetry. And so that's the first one, and that one, in musically speaking, comes from lots of silence and fragmentation coming together and, and eventually. Uh, big melodic lyricism as things bloom. So the first movement actually blooms very carefully and slowly, and then it becomes kind of ecstatic, because the poem goes on to talk about the, the you know, moment of, of the mind knowing something. Then the second movement is called Self Came to Mind. That movement has to do with awareness and a kind of explosion of awareness, of, of knowing. Well, I should say also in the poem there's a description of signals in the body going to the brain and forming an image of itself. And the idea is the, the consciousness comes at first from signals forming images of the body itself. And what am I? So that suggested very tightly knit interactive kind of contrapuntal writing where everything is related to everything else, all the details relate to refract throughout the piece. And plus the energy of it was, was there. So I had both in the second movement both the energy, the excitement, and the idea that all of it is signals that are intertwining with each other. And the, the last movement, discovery, is the anxiety that comes with knowing. Knowing about death, about oneself, knowing more about the world. So it has to do with the drama of consciousness. And the last movement is the is completely different from the other two in musical diction. There's an opposition of mood. So that there's a kind of drama where there's there's passion and anxiety and sorrow and you know there's a lot of different moods in the movement and it's more um, emotionally charged in a way that is meant to to show this new awareness of, of the anxiety of being a conscious creature. Mm-hmm. 